you know you could use Riverside to live stream your podcast and video content? Doing a live stream is a great way to engage with your audience. And Riverside makes it easy to live stream, invite others to watch you publicly. And with our pro plan, you can even take live call-ins from your audience members and answer their questions and get those separate audio and video recording tracks so you can edit them later. Here's how to use audience mode in Riverside to live stream your content. When you invite audience members into a Riverside studio, they can participate in the chat, they can view everything going on between the host and guest during the recording, but you won't see or hear them and they won't be recorded. Here's how to invite audience members to your recording and what it looks like to receive an audience invite. The first step is to change the settings of your studio and make sure it's public so anyone with a link can join the call. When you log into your Riverside account, go to the studio you'd like to adjust the settings for. I'm gonna choose my Riverside Live and click the gear icon. Scroll down and you can see the settings for security where you can make this studio public, where you can send a link out and then anyone can join. Now the toggle right under these security settings are for guests only, people you're inviting to your studio who you will be recording and are participating in the call. Even with this toggle on, as you send the link out for audience members to tune in, you won't have to admit them one by one or approve them from the waiting room. Audience members will automatically join the call when they click your link. Then if you scroll down, you can actually schedule a recording in the future and invite guests in advance. So you don't have to do it in the moment. You can schedule the recording for a future date. Then you can send a link or email everyone you would like to participate as an audience member in that recording. Click go to studio and then you'll see the free studio setup where you choose your camera, microphone, and speaker. You can choose whether you're using headphones or not. And of course, if you're the host, you'll see that next to your name. Now you can still invite audience members even after you enter your studio. Click this drop down here and you can select audience and then copy that link and send it out or invite others by email right here in the interface. Even after a call has started, you can also click the invite people button up at the top, change the role to audience and invite people that way. As people join your studio as audience members, you actually see the number of people both participating in the call and are being recorded and those tuning in as audience members. You can see those numbers in the recording overview box in the top right. When someone clicks your link to join your studio as an audience member, they'll be presented with this screen. Until you press the record button and actually start recording, they won't see you and your other guests talking to each other. They won't see you or hear you. This is the screen they see until you hit record. They will be able to participate in the live chat, which you can let your audience know will be getting started soon or send any messages or links there. Once you hit the record button and you start recording in your studio, then your audience members will see the live video of you and your guests. They'll be able to see and hear you. Now, if an audience member wants to request a call in, they'll be asked for permissions to use the camera and microphone. They'll be able to choose their mic, camera and speakers, just like a guest would. Then they can also provide their name and even type their question if they don't want to show up on camera, or you can at least get a preview of what they're going to say before you admit them live in the recording. And then they can request to start that live call. Once an audience member has requested a live call in, you'll see this window pop up during the recording. If they've typed in a question, you'll see their name and the question typed out, and then a green check or a red X whether or not to admit them into the call. If you press the green check, you'll be able to see and hear the guests. They'll be able to be seen by the entire audience and everyone in the studio. And then when they're done asking their question, you can hit the X and they'll be removed. Once your recording is done, you'll have access to all the separate video and audio tracks from every live call in audience member and you'll be able to use those in your final product. Once you've admitted a live call-in, you'll see that audience member there in the right-hand sidebar. You can adjust their volume levels, see the devices they're using for a speaker and microphone, and then when they're done asking their question, you can remove them from the call. Whether you have one or multiple live call-ins from audience members, you'll see the window in the bottom left of your video, and you'll also see all the live call-in requests in the right-hand sidebar. You can admit or remove audience members from that right-hand sidebar as well. Just like guests, your audience members who participated in a live call-in will see an upload screen. They'll be asked to keep their browser open until their video and audio tracks have fully uploaded. And then if they want to rejoin the studio to keep observing the call, they can click rejoin studio in the top left. Using the Riverside app, you can also have people tune in as an audience member from an iPad, iPhone, or Android device. From those devices, they won't have access to the live chat or be able to do the live call-ins. Those can only be done from a desktop or laptop computer. When you finish your recording, you can either use the leave button or press stop and your recording will stop and all audience members will now lose access to seeing you and your guests. They won't hear or see you once the recording has stopped. Then once you're ready to end the call between you and the guests or other participants in the recording, then you can press the leave button and end the meeting for all. Again, if you had audience members during the recording who participated in a live call-in, you'll have access to all their recordings separately. You can download those files to edit them in your software of choice or even use our magic editor and you can put together the entire recording right here in Riverside.
So that's how to live stream your content using audience mode in Riverside. And when you use Riverside as your live streaming platform, you get those unique features you can't get anywhere else. You can view the audio input, video input, and volume settings for all your participants. You can take those live call and requests from your guests, and you get separate video and audio tracks for every call in. If you'd like to learn more how you can use Riverside for your podcast and video content, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. Then drop a comment below this video and let us know how you use Riverside. Or if you have questions, what you'd like to see in a future tutorial, drop that comment below. We'd love to help you there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.